hi guys so welcome to my channel i uh, hope everyone's well so today i'm actually going to be talking to you guys about how you could overwinter your chili plants or your naga plants um so the first thing you're going to actually need is some hand pruners so i got these off amazon and they weren't much they were like six pounds and you're going to need some kind of fertilizer so this is fish uh, blood and bone uh, the bone should help with the root system of the plant so root or leggy bone and the fish blood should help with just the general health and growth of the plant um, at the moment the plants are at a dormant stage so it's at a sleeping uh, it's going to a, like a sleeping mode um, that's where the leaves are it's going to that stage that's where the leaves are um, falling off and i'm actually going to keep some of the leaves because um, they will provide the plant with a bit of nutrients and um, that is collected throughout the summer and I'm just going to leave a few of them there. Uh, so the main stalk of the um, plant, I'll show you how to cut that in a bit and I'm just going to show you an example from the top branches just in case, uh, I mean some of you guys might have branches at the bottom so I'm just going to show you how you could cut uh, the branches at the bottom. So don't cut it all the way, I mean you can if you want um, but I wouldn't suggest it. I would cut it um, just a bit more higher up. Um, if you have any like little buds on the branches, um, just cut it a bit more higher up of the buds. So they cannot dekh by fata tura mano ko utwa ki ogur ufre tura khati by and cut it at an angle. So I'm just gonna show you guys it now. So I cut it at an angle like you would with a rose plant. So as you guys can see, it's uh, at an angle. So just exactly like that, you'd cut it. Next, we have the center stalk, and I'm just gonna make a cut above some of the buds that are there, just like before, at an angle, just like a rose plant. And then we're going to put some fertilizer in. So I'm using the fish um, blood bone fertilizer, but if you guys have any other kind of fertilizer, that's also fine. I've also taken some of the small leaves that were growing at the bottom of the central stalk and that's because you don't want the plant to be wasting unnecessary energy uh, on them so the the main stalk because the plant will just be wasting energy on them okay so the next thing you need to do is put it by a window i've chosen the kitchen because it tends to stay quite warm in there and that's it really there's nothing else to it Thank you guys for watching. If you found this helpful, please leave a like and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.